lofty goal, which I've had in the mind in mind for the last 20 years or so, uh, which we haven't had a chance to work on yet. But again, this is another thing that investors could help us with a lot. When I first introduced this concept of the trim treatment to the world at a, at a meeting in the, the Bay Area called the Health Extension Salon, I believe, uh, and, um, and I mentioned at the end of, of the uh, talk that there's something that I called thymic magic at the end of the talk. And, and the thymic magic aspect has to do with the fact that the thymus actually has two jobs. It manufactures cells that destroy enemies, and it also uh, manufactures cells that do not, do not destroy friend, in other words, self. And uh, it's that second aspect that's just really interesting because if you have a thymus, which most of us don't you know, to speak of after the age of 30 or so, uh, but if you have a decent amount of thymus, you can actually re-engineer the thymus to accept any graft as self and not reject it. And this has been shown in every animal model there is of transplant, and it always works, including in large animals. It uh, seems like something that uh, would be doable in humans uh, based on what we saw in trim. In other words, in trim, we saw we were able to regenerate the thymus. Uh, that means that there's some place to do this engineering work on uh, it involves a, a minor surgical procedure to introduce the right antigens into the thymus. Uh, but once you do that, uh, just give it a few months and your uh, transplant rejection should be eliminated for life. You can then go off immunosuppression for the rest of your life and keep that kidney as though it were from your identical twin, which means it will last for 25 years instead of for five or 10 years. Uh, but it actually gets better than that because you can then apply the same technology to curing all autoimmune diseases for exactly the same reason. Because an autoimmune disease is when the body forgets that you are you and it starts attacking you. But you can reprogram the thymus to recognize that that thing that is being attacked is actually you and delete all of the cells that are engaging in the attack. This also has been proven to work in every animal model that's been tried in which are a large number of them. And nobody has tried this in humans, just as nobody's tried the transplant rejection in humans yet either. So if we succeed as a company, these are other multi-billion dollar areas that we wanna get into. And again, that would be a nice place for investors to jump in here. I actually um, run this company called 21st Century Medicine during the day. We have a pig uh, colony uh, in the building so we can do pig experiments and uh, uh, there's a lot of interesting immunological work done on pigs, uh, so we could actually test this rejection issue in the pig model with rel relatively little overhead because the colony already exists and I run the lab, so I don't have to charge my other company that much money to do these studies. So, you know, that's another potentially highly strategic way that actually having investment in the company could help us, which will take us another 20 years to raise the money at the rate we're we're going at right now, but of course I expect that to accelerate. But just uh, for any investor types out there, uh, these are not fantasies either. I mean, the, the animal studies are unequivocal. They're numerous, both with respect to transplant rejection and autoimmunity. Uh, it's just that nobody has bothered to try this in people for reasons that escape me, just as nobody bothered to try to regenerate the thymus in humans until we came along, except for a few brave doctors working on HIV patients because their patients were dying in front of their faces. And even they have seemingly given up on that process uh, because um, they're worried about their, their patients getting cancer, which they haven't gotten cancer, but they, so, so even that has been sort of dying out. So uh, somebody has got to do these things and darn it, we're going to do it if nobody else does.